Hi everyone, welcome along to another video where I summarise the methods and results of a study from component two of the OCR A-level psychology syllabus in about a minute. Sometimes it's a bit longer. This study was uh, the one by Levine et al that looked at helping behaviour cross-culturally across different types of uh, country and city and other variables. So let's start the timer and see if we can do this one in a minute or less. This was a quasi-experiment study using an independent measures design. The main IVs were city and the helping measure looked at, but other things covered were economic prosperity, population size, pace of life, and the type of culture as well, sympathia or non-sympathia. Just under 1,200 participants using opportunity sampling in 23 cities across the globe, chosen mostly by opportunity sampling techniques as well. What happened was the second person on the street who crossed a predetermined point was given one of three scenarios. Either a researcher dropped their pen and they measured whether they got it for them. They pretended to have a hurt leg and they measured uh, whether the participants picked up a magazine for them or the researcher pretended to be blind and uh, measured whether the participants helped them to cross the street. It was found that the most helpful city was Rio de Janeiro, 93% and the least was Kuala Lumpur, 40%. Other interesting results, 17% more help given in sympathia countries than non-sympathia and there were negative correlations between helping and prosperity, helping and pace of life and helping and individualism. We can conclude therefore that helping in non-emergency situations is influenced by mostly cultural and economic factors. Good things about this study, big sample, good ecological validity, reasonably ethical, a little bit of deception, but that's okay. Uh, but problems with use of opportunity sampling in city centre areas, some internal reliability issues, and also there's no qualitative data. We don't know why these people helped. We can only infer from the correlations. And you'll know from C1, the problems with gathering conclusions from correlational studies. Uh, this is a really, really good study in my opinion. It covers lots of ground and there's lots of interesting conclusions and things we can use to make society better about being more helpful to people in public places. I think it's always a good thing to do. Let me know if you've got any questions about this study or anything that doesn't quite make sense in the comments below. If you've got any other questions you have about anything to do with the exam technique or structure or wider things, let me know as well. Uh, I may be in a position to knock up some more videos uh, that do other study skills other than just summaries. Thanks very much for watching. This is actually the 20th of 20 videos that I've produced. So if you're watching this out of order, you might not grasp how amazing a situation this is. We've done all 20 people. Uh, thanks very much if you've watched all of them or if you found any help at all for them. So it's on to the next chapter for me, things to do. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see and uh, we'll go through this together. All the best. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.